Hey folks, Jim here. Yeah, that's another gym day. Uh, I hardly ever use this thing, but as you can tell here, this little guy here fits in there to couple this motor. It's a vacuum pump, you'll see in a bit. Anyway, look at that. Hmm. So I believe that if I can do some stuff here, I'm going to use some mechanics wire and that there uh pliers and i'm gonna wrap it around and you know twisty twisty wrap it around twisty twisty which would coincide with this and that and uh first i have to take uh this 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 to pull the motor up and we'll see and i can't quite get uh, i can't get the, this one here i got to twist the bottom one i got it to twist a time or two but uh a time or two and it could be just because the veins this is a vacuum pump I, I said that already but I don't know if you know what a vacuum pump is it's for I was gonna do my air fix my air conditioning in my car see vacuum pump uh, a little too much oil actually I don't know if I started out with that much but anyway um, it's a two-stage you know vacuum pump it sucks all the air out of your um, air conditioning after you open it up and all like that so it goes on and off like it's supposed to but it made a crazy screech noise <laughs> yeah, whoop, there you go crazy screech noise so what I'm gonna do here is uh, and you know as it would happen you know as it would happen um, I go to do a thing and you know you know the rest right does it happen to you folks I don't know it happens to me Happens to me a lot, but I have a lot of stuff, um, so, you know, the chances of stuff happening are a lot. Anyway, so I'm going to take these little quarter-inch guys out of here, see if I get to pull that motor off. Then what we'll do is, uh, as long as you guys can help me, you know, if you hold your tongues right, we'll get this good. Anyway, um, let's see, so uh, we'll pull the motor up and off of there. And then I'll try to spin that guy around. I'll put the, the pump back down the right way like it's supposed to be. And then uh, here's a test guy, whoever the tester was. I've had trouble with this thing ever since I got it. I'm not kidding. And if it wasn't for what I bought, it was 100 miles away. I would have taken it back and just got another one. Probably got a factory refurbished one. Maybe I didn't. But, you know, it seems like it's always started hard, but I've always had these really super, super long extension cords too, so maybe that's part of it. Uh, I've always had the right oil, because I got the oil from them, and it's uh, from the same company, and blah, 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 yuck, blah, blah. Oh, wow, that's a little one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I miss it. There's another one holding the plate on for the switch. I got that one. But anyway, okay, well, that's nice. He comes off anyway. That's good, right? Yes. All right, here we go. Just using my super cool Craftsman nut driver that has all kinds of little fittings. Got it as part of a kit a long time ago. I took down to the dirt floor body shop, which you folks are uh, well aware of. I, um, I took my old tools down there and bought a set for up here at the house. And that's where we're at now. Um, and if you want, you can look at it on one of the other videos. There's that motorcycle. Got her going, doing the thing there. Now, I re what I realized it'll come up with is that uh, it needs to have a carburetor work or. Look at that. Came right out there. I like that. Alright. Oh, goodness gracious. That thing's heavy. Put him down there. Lean him out of the way. Yeah. Maybe. All right, well here, I need to take a sip of my adult beverage here. Mm-hmm. It's like nine million degrees today. All right, now there we go. What I'm hoping for, I have this all the way opened up. So that should let air into here, and then I have my ballast, ballast here. It's, it's loose. I, Probably should have started it that way, but I didn't. But the darn thing is, is, this thing here is. Oh, I should have brought a screwdriver out here so I could turn this guy. Well, I'm gonna try it here and with my other hand here. Try to turn it one way, try to turn it the other way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, 
the darn thing is stopped. But that's not stopping me. I'm gonna go get another tool to grab it, give it a twist, see what we can do. Anyway, so there you go for right now until I go get another tool and then uh, come back. I don't know why that thing would lock up, but hey, you know what? Like I say, I've had trouble with it the whole time I've ever had it. So thanks for stopping. So I'm going to go get a tool to grab a hold of that or maybe a socket. Probably get a socket that would fit on there. That would probably be best and easiest. So all right. Thank you.